Hi everyone. I've got a list of things I'd like to discuss tonight. We better just get into it, hadn't we? The first thing that I'd like to talk about is a post that I saw on Carnivorous Me's community tab, Dear Amanda, broke my heart. If you haven't gone to her, gone to her um, YouTube channel, and if you're not subscribed and you're on the carnivore journey, I do strongly suggest that you start going through her videos to see what this girl has achieved. She was my defining moment. I've never hidden that. She was the moment that made me go, oh, so carnivore it is. Um, it was the fact that this lifestyle alleviated so much of the pain in her legs. And I definitely associated with that, still do on a very strong level. Um, I would like to read what she wrote in my video. I give you fair warning though. Trigger warning is in place. Okay, this is her post in the community tab. I write this with a heavy heart I have been silently breaking inside for a while. Yesterday was the final crack in the vase that is Amanda. I wanted to end my life. The suffering has gotten too much for me to bear. I want to thank those of you who have had such kind words and have found value in my sharing. I hope you can forgive me as I am not as strong as you had hoped. I can no longer tolerate the death by a thousand paper cuts. Something as innocuous as no video this week gets turned into you aren't carnivore, you aren't doing things right, your channel has run its course. Some of you might even be disappointed that I can't just ignore the negativity. On its face a single comment has no impact, yet the summation of them all has crushed my spirit being constantly accused of not doing things correctly, lying or unmet expectations. I have never pretended to be unflawed or perfect on my journey. People seeing someone struggling and instead of offering a helping hand or a kind word, they choose to kick them, to revel in the added suffering and malice that exists. I can admit I still harbour negativity inside myself, that deep down people do not want to hurt others Yet on a day-to-day -day basis, I am proven wrong. I've yet to rectify that part of myself to the reality that is this world. I know evil exists. We can see it in history, in current events, the fact that slavery still exists in this world, as well as labour camps and beyond. Yet I want to believe that when we aim to help others, even ourselves in the progress, that evil cannot exist, yet it does. Many will hide behind the sentiment of, oh, I was just telling the truth. Yet we both know it comes from a place of malice. We all have it in us, the ability to harm, be unkind and be full of hate. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I have tried to change this about myself. Be stronger, ignore the hate, be Teflon, but I'm not. I cannot pretend to be something I am not anymore, push down the pain, sadness and suffering for the sake of pretending it should not bother me. It does, and ignoring it has led to not wanting to exist in this world anymore. So I am stepping away for a while. I do not know for how long. I just know I cannot be guilted or shamed by one more person assuming something about me or what is left will be so far broken there will be nothing to be pieced back together. I wish the world to each and every one of you. Now.
I can forgive an awful lot of things in this world. I think we all have a very deep sense of forgiveness and what it means. But you could ask my husband because there is one thing that I cannot forgive. I've tried over the years but I can't do it. Is when somebody crushes somebody's spirit which is clearly what's happened here with Amanda. I hope those that have collectively done this to her feel good about themselves. I hope they can rest easy knowing that they have crushed this girl's spirit to the point that she's not going to do videos for a little while. And you see, the thing is, that's actually done this community, the carnival community, a great disservice. So these people who have collectively done this to her have not only shot the carnival community in the foot, they've shot themselves in the foot because they're not going to get this information, this valuable information based on the journey she's been on for over a year. So everyone suffers for it. Everyone. The fact that it was done to somebody who was the person who made me go, oh, carnivore it is. For shame. For shame to anybody who feels that they have the right to do that. This keyboard hero BS, really? I'm not happy about it. I feel absolutely gutted for Amanda. I really do. She now needs more support from us than she's ever needed before. Sending her messages, putting things out there on YouTube in her community post, sending her support, subscribe to her channel, giving her endless support. She needs it. She needs it. I've spoken about the trolls and the haters in a video before. And... Yeah, I hope they don't believe in karma. I do. I do. Karma, well, let's face it, she's a bit of a bitch. And karma tends to work very silently, very carefully in the background. If you're lucky, if you're lucky, you will get to see karma do her magic. But that's rare. And it takes a lot of trust in the workings of the universe to let go and trust that karma will take things, of th take care of things. To all you haters out there that have done this to this girl, who have made her feel and pushed her to this point, shame on you. Shame on you. You hateful, hateful people. I could say an awful lot. I'm holding back. Believe me, I'm holding back. Come for me. Come for me instead. She's done nothing to anybody. No one has done anything. Because your definition of perfect... Good luck to you with having that kind of high bar. Good luck. Won't keep you warm at night. How dare you? How dare you make her feel like that? That she feels that she's that broken? that she just doesn't want to live in this world anymore. How dare you? Get over yourselves. Because we're all in this together. We're all here to help each other. No one journey in the carnivore world is going to be the same. Every single journey is going to be different. The ailments are going to be different. The healing that the, the diet itself has to do is going to be different. How dare you? Assume that your journey is the only one that is correct. How dare you? You know, my mother would say, <laughs> the luxury of remembering what my mother used to say, my gosh. She used to say, oh, well, they'll have no luck if my prayers fall on them. Yeah, um, I'm going to be in that camp. I'm going to trust that karma's going to do her magic 
and you're going to cop it. Might not be tomorrow, might not be next week, might not be next year, but in years to come, you're going to cop it for doing that to somebody's spirit. For shame. For shame. Check yourselves. Okay. So the glasses are back on. We're going to try and move on a bit. I would like to basically call out to you guys about your why. Why have you adopted the carnival lifestyle? What's your why? And is your why enough of a rock bottom to keep you on the straight and narrow? There's the question. Because I'm aware that everybody deals with stress in different ways. And the go-to for us is always going to be that stuff we shouldn't have. I mean... That why and that rock bottom. What is that why and what is, is that your rock bottom? Are you there? Have you been there? Are you still there? I'd, I'd dearly love to know of the ones that are on this lifestyle what your why is and what your rock bottom is. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it together, okay? Anybody who uh, pipes up and starts judging will be booted. I'm not playing that game with anybody on my channel. Not happening. If they're going to start spreading hate, they'll get blocked. Simple as that. So, that is my job of having a channel, is to, one of my jobs is to protect you guys from those little so-and-sos who think that they know best. So, yeah, let's have a chat about the why you're on it. And let's have a chat about is that why closely associated to your rock bottom? What's the connection? And is that why and is that rock bottom strong enough for you to hang on to in times of stress and trouble so that you don't veer off the course, so to speak. The other thing that I would like to talk about is not an easy thing for me to talk about, but I'm going to anyway. I think... I think with last week's video, midweek video, I think I've talked about the hardest thing that I'm ever going to talk about around here in these here parts. But let's give it a go. All right. I want to talk about things like super chats. You know, the revenue that one gets as a monetized channel. I haven't done merch yet. <laughs> I will eventually. It's just not on my radar right now. I will. Uh, I haven't even done an Amazon wish list. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't think I'll ever do that. I have set up a buy me a coffee. It's in the uh, in the the um, about section. No obligation. Just letting you know. I put it there. I put it there because. Um, YouTube's cut of things is quite significant. And if any of you were going to donate, I wanted to give you guys another way of doing that. Now, having said that, I need to make something very, very clear here. Where any future or current or future super chats, donations through Buy Me a Coffee, whatever, I need you, or even when I have... Um, merchandise I need you guys to know exactly where that money is going all right this is me everybody does things differently but this is me all right one of the first things that I'm wanting to save for is a vibration plate 
that is to do with what I'm doing here with carnivore. It's going to benefit my legs an awful lot. Later on down the track, I maybe would like to get a rebounder, but I'm going to have to lose quite a bit and work on the balance first before I get one of those. Um, the cost of meat, although cheaper than buying all the rubbish, I would like to be able to put any funds that I get through this channel, whether it be through merchandise, super chats, buy me a coffee, anything like that is going to go straight into this lifestyle that I have adopted, be it meat or the vibration plate, it's going to do that. I'm not interested in furnishing my home. Um, that's not what I'm about. I think that's just a little bit cheeky. Uh, I, I'm just not interested in doing that. That's not what I'm about. Um, if one is in a carnivore community, I just feel for me, I would feel better knowing that anything that you guys donate is going to go, go towards the lifestyle that I have adopted. I think that's, that is the right thing to do. Like I said, I'm not interested in getting camera lenses. I've got this. Um, I'm not interested in getting GoPros. I'm not interested in all of these gadgets and stuff. I don't need them. You know, I, I, I've got a house full of stuff. Um, a garage, uh, three quarters, uh, half a garage full of stuff. I can't even get into the house. So, you know, there's no point in me having an Amazon wish list of stuff to put in my home. No point. I've got a freezer. If I want a meat grinder, I'll go and buy one. You know, chances are my husband, well, my husband bought me this camera, for instance, because the one in the laptop was driving me nuts. So I just needed you guys to know from me that in future, any donations will go straight into this lifestyle that I've adopted, whether it be for meat or whether it'll be for something that's going to help me on my journey from a health perspective be it the vibration plate which is the first on the list um or the um the rebounder in the future and that's where the money's going i will not be using it to pay my bills i just think that that would be insulting to you so i'm never going to do that and i'm never going to have an amazon wish list not interested no nah. So, I think we need to get into a bit of a montage. Just over 55 pounds are gone. I honestly didn't think that I would actually have a loss this week. I'll tell you why. I have had a lot of late nights this week. A lot. And not getting the sort of rest that I knew I should be getting. Um may or may not have been drinking just a little bit more coffee than I'd like. Maybe not quite as much water as I'd like, um, but still eating meat. <laughs> but yeah, there are the losses, then it's nuts. I'm just letting the body do what it needs to do. Honestly, that, that is, you know, 
my my husband actually as I was measuring myself he actually did the um, spreadsheet on my phone he went he said you, you, I'm just looking at your measurements now they're all over the place I said I know I said but I'm fine with it he said really I said yeah I said I'm fine with it I said because I know that everything's just moving around and the body's just this is a very different kind of diet lifestyle the body's got to catch up and it's got to heal it's got a lot to do with me an awful lot so <laughs> um i think that's about it for this week folks yeah i think that's it had a few things i needed to get off my chest and that whole thing with amanda i i needed to say something i really did because that's just what people have done to make her feel like that it's just not right it is just not right and I wouldn't be me if I didn't address it. I know that Larry did at Carnival Quest. And I'm so glad that he did. Because I thought, yep, this needs to build some momentum here. Because we need to band together to help this girl out. Because, you know, you could say about certain people, oh, they can fight their own battles. Obviously, she's in a place where her only option is now to just walk away. And I'm like, wow, that ain't right. So I'm really glad that... Larry said something I really really am and I thought yep I saw his video I thought, I'm gonna say something too I have to I wouldn't be me if I remained silent because that's just breaking somebody's spirit is just not right it's just not right and the other thing talking about everybody's why and talking about how how that relates to the rock bottom that you may or may not have reached and how those two things will come together and hopefully help you in times of trouble, in times of stress, in times, in, in, you know, in times where you're faced with some temptations. Um, I want to see what we can generate here as a collective to see what we can come up with tips and tricks on how we can sort of like, you know, go, no, I'm not looking at that. That is a box of shapes. I am not looking at it. I have no desire to eat it. It can go to hell. And the, there's a fine line between doing that and actually going into the bag and going, um, num, 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 num. It's a very fine line. And I want to see if we can actually figure out a way to stand on that fine line confidently knowing that we will make the best choice for ourselves. That's what I want for us. So on that note, I would like you to please be kind to those around you. Protect your peace. Don't take any crap. And be kind to yourself. I love you guys so, so much. Bye for now. Mwah.